Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna go through what I'm putting in my hospital bag to give birth to my first baby. Obviously it's my first baby, so I'm no expert. I don't have experience in this. However, I did ask out on my Instagram for everybody's recommendations. I made a big list and that's basically what I packed. So I do feel like I have kind of smashed it because obviously I've had the input of all of my Instagram followers, which is quite a lot of people. So yeah, I'm gonna go through everything I'm packing. I'll start with my hospital bag, but I'll show you what I've put in the baby's hospital bag as well. Just, yeah, in case any of you need some inspo. Everything that I'm showing you will be linked down below in the description box. So let's get into it. Let's start off with my like wash bag and like recovery bits. So the first thing that I ordered was off Amazon and I got this Freedom Mum postpartum recovery kit and then I've just basically taken it apart and put everything into my suitcase. Oh yeah, by the way, for the actual bag itself, I'm just taking like a hand luggage suitcase because loads of people like don't bother packing like loads of little bags because they're really annoying and easier to just have like one big suitcase. So yeah, I've managed to fit it all into like a hand luggage size case. And then the baby's bag is one that like attaches onto the top. They're both from Antler. I'll link them down below. So I firstly, I bought this, which was from Naomi Genesis at recommendation. She has an Amazon storefront with like her recovery postpartum things. So I ordered loads of stuff from there. And then in this kit, you get the witch hazel foam cooling relief. And then I got two, oh no, I think you get more than two, but I didn't want to put everything in the bag because I actually live like two minutes down the road from the hospital that I'm hoping to give birth at. So if I need anything, I can just basically send Harry to go get it. So I don't need to pack loads and loads. This is after, I'm not letting him leave while I'm giving birth, obviously. Anyway, um, two of these cold pads, which are instant cold perineal compress. So basically they're one of those things that you like snap to release the, the cooling sensation. They're very like big and bulky, but yeah, you just put them in two. Where are they? Are they in there? Are they in there? I have all sorts of stuff going on here. Um, yeah, you put them into like these packs of boxer shorts that they do, which I don't know where I've put them at the moment, but we'll get to them. So yeah, you also get a pack of Freedom Mum cooling white. Oh, well, no, they're not white. They're pad liners, again, cooling. And yeah, you get like a packet of um, disposable boxer shorts, which I don't know where I've put them. But then you also, I bought this separately. It doesn't come in the kit, it says sold separately. I got one of these, what are they called? So after you go for a wee, instead of wiping, you squirt yourself with water, um, which is apparently much more comfortable. So yeah, I feel like I'm quite prepared with like the postpartum recovery stuff. Um, the other thing I also bought was the Midwife Expert Spritz for Bits. This was probably like one of the most recommended products. When I put the question box of what to pack, everybody said to uh, buy this. So I bought that as well. That's my recovery bits for down there. So I bought these like clear wash bags from H&M just so that I can see what's inside each one. I think also like for Harry to get them out of the bag and give them to me, it'll be much easier if he can see exactly what I've put inside. I did make him sit in the room and like go through everything that I was packing with me, but not really sure how much he was concentrating to be honest. So in the bottom section of this wash bag, I'm putting like my makeup wipes. I've got a mini face wash a deodorant, uh, two mini night cream and day cream, as if I'm gonna care. But I just think it'd be nice to have like a little bit of luxury. These are like um, from a mini kit of Ren products. I absolutely love Ren at the moment. I got those, I think just like, I might, I might want to do my skincare routine to make myself feel a bit better. But the other thing that I thought I might want to do, everybody said bring nice stuff for the shower afterwards because it's like the shower that you have after you give birth is like being reborn. I just thought it would be nice to have a little touch of home with me using the products that I use every single day. I've gone for thickening. Everybody says that pregnancy makes your hair so thick and luscious. It's done the opposite for me. My hair has never been more thinning and 
broken and stuff so i'm going to use the grow gorgeous thickening for postpartum 100 percent starting with my shower after i give birth <laughs> if any of you also want to invest in the grow gorgeous thickening products or any of the products on their website then my discount code should work throughout the whole website i will link the products down below in the description box for you you all know that i absolutely love grow gorgeous i've used it for years so i didn't want to buy anything other than grow gorgeous so i'm gonna pack out of the minis the um, thickening shampoo and conditioner in the kit you also get the hair serum the scalp mask I'm not gonna actually pack all of those into the hospital bag but I am gonna take the mini shampoo and conditioner and pop that into the wash bag I've also got a deodorant and shower gel from Dove. A lip balm because everybody says that the gas and air makes your lips really dry. So I've got my Lano lips in there, the best lip balm ever. And then toothbrush and toothpaste. So that's everything in my wash bag. Let me know if you think I'm missing anything, but I feel like I've got everything I'm gonna need and more. So this is my little breastfeeding wash bag next <laughs> i've packed a load of the um breast pads i got these ones lan lan lansina i don't know how to say that but um these were the most recommended so i got these ones and i also got a nipple balm just in case so that's what i'm taking for breastfeeding um i think that's everything that i've got on that side of the suitcase so moving on to non kind of wash bag items and more like clothing i feel like i still need to buy a few more like clothing bits because i'm not 100 percent pleased with what i've got but i'm using these um packing cubes from antler as well just to separate out everything so it's all very organized and this is my underwear one i bought a pack of very attractive just black maternity actually boxer shorts from h&m and then i also got these two nursing bras these are all very ugly <laughs> i don't know why i've gone for such ugly things um yeah just pretty self-explanatory so those are my underwear choices for afterwards why did i get those colors i should have just got all black but anyway done now and then people said that the most kind of like handy item of clothing that you'll take with you is a nightshirt because you've got easy access to your boobs and to down below so i got this nightshirt from primark i might swap it out with one that i've already got just because this is like a brushed cotton kind of wintery one and i feel like i'm going to want a cool not brushed cotton one that's a bit cozy for the hospital i feel like it's going to be hot i also got a little vest because somebody told me that they gave birth in a vest <laughs> so i thought i'll give birth in a vest anyway so i got those two they're from primark so i can't link those below then i also got from h&m a pair of dark pajamas to wear after giving birth these are just like very soft navy blue pajamas i got them in a size large so they're nice and comfy and baggy this is just the style of pajamas that i always like to wear at home and stuff as well and hopefully because they are navy blue they won't get ruined i will link those down below because i'm fairly sure they're still in stock i've given all of this stuff a wash so that it smells like me rather than like the shop and then what other bits i don't think there's oh yeah i bought a new pair of slippers from the white company although everybody was like don't they're too nice to take with you i want to take nice stuff all right let me be taking these white company slippers but i've also got a pair of oh flip flops these are not everyone was like buy a pair of flip flops and then you can chuck them away after but the whole point of flip flops is these just rinse clean so why am i chucking them away so these are just my normal havianas from the summer oh i forgot i have a whole section of in my suitcase of these adult nappies which are from i feel like they're from always i chucked away the boxes now but i just got them in super drug really attractive but apparently so much easier than trying to wear pads so i've got like eight nappies probably overkill i don't know but everyone was like you need you need more than you think so eight so the next thing everybody said to take was a long phone charger i definitely agree with this i've had quite a few hospital stays and it's really annoying when your phone charger doesn't reach the bed and i've heard at the hospital that i'm giving birth at you can't plug them into the wall they make you plug it into like a usb thing on the tv or something 
so I bought one of the older style charging cables this is just from Primark so hopefully it lasts last work works it's a two meter one which is like twice the length of a normal one and then the last two things that are currently in my hospital bag is a water bottle with a straw because apparently drinking from a straw is really good to relax down below because you can't suck from a straw and clench your jaw which means that down there won't be clenched either so i thought that was a really good tip so i got also how you can feed me a water bottle with a straw and i'm gonna fill up my like insulated chilies bottle with ice so that i can just take the ice and put it in here and it keeps the water cold um the other thing i got <laughs> this is the most unnecessary purchase Somebody told me to get a fan, so I did, of course. That was just from Amazon. So the last thing that I need to get, I think, comment below if I'm missing anything crucial. Oh, snacks, obviously. I haven't bought snacks yet. Um, I'm gonna do that shop probably next week and just get really, like, energising snacks. What was your best snack? I know a lot of people take, like, Lucasade, but I hate any drinks like that. I literally just drink water, so those are a no-no. I need, like, sweets, I guess. Also something energizing for like early labor but i guess i'll be at home i don't know anyway <laughs> the other thing i have ordered is my going home outfit i ordered some really nice loungewear bits from h&m so those will be arriving hopefully like tomorrow but i'll link them down below because i can't show you because they haven't arrived yet so that's everything that's in my bag let's go through the baby's bag so the baby's bag is this which slots onto the top of my suitcase so they're nice and attached and <laughs> yeah so i didn't get any advice on what to take for the baby so i might have got this kind of wrong but let me know in the comments i have packed so again into one of the antler packing cube this is like his clothes and muslins so i've packed two big muslins and then two small muslins and then I've packed, I don't know if I've packed like too many clothes or not enough clothes or what, but I've packed, what have I packed? <laughs> One long, okay, so I've got two long sleeve vests and two short sleeve vests. And then I've just packed three little onesies. Do you want to see the ones that I've chosen for the hospital? I'll show you anyway. <laughs> so I've chosen all white ones because I just think there's nothing cuter than a newborn baby in a white baby grow but this one's got like little animals all on it and then this is a born in 2022 one which is from john lewis and then another born in 2022 one uh which is from marks and spencers i found all of the marks and spencers baby grows are so soft but the oh yeah the animal one by the way is from zara but i don't think they do it anymore because this was like i think the first thing i bought and then i've bought i've packed a pair of these like scratch mitts but those onesies do have like hand things that fold over anyway so i'm not really sure why i've done that um i've packed a little cream hat and then a cardigan for when we leave the hospital just because he might be cold so those are the clothing items that i've packed so i'm packing as if i'm going to be there for 24 hours after giving birth anything shorter than that is obviously fine but anything longer than that then people can just bring me stuff because as i said i live very very close to the hospital so i've also packed a blanket this is a cellular blanket um from the white company inside the bag is like a little compartment that i filled up with changing bits i've got like 10 nappies some cotton wool pseudocram some of this like cleansing water stuff to go on the cotton wool i think <laughs> i've actually got a packet of wipes in there as well but i don't think you use wipes on a newborn baby but i've just packed some water wipes i might need them for myself and then yeah pseudocram and some nappy bags and then i've actually picked up just in case i'm planning to breastfeed but just in case i've picked up some of the little like ready to go aptamil bottles which have got like a sterile teat is that what they're called <laughs> so yeah that's everything in the baby's bag um yeah i think that i believe is everything that i'm taking 
to the hospital to give birth. Let me know if I'm missing anything crucial in the comments. I do appreciate your advice. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember, everything's linked down below in the description box. And please do subscribe if you want to see more content like this.